What's up everyone, welcome back. This is just a quick update video regarding a previous tutorial where I showed you how to use Hive MQ MQTT with the Raspberry Pi Pico W and MicroPython. I'll link that video right here, but if you're watching this video, you're probably watching it for a reason. It's because ever since I made that video a year ago, the code I showed you in that tutorial is slightly broken because the maintainers of the library that we're using, simple.py, made some edits to the library and the latest version is no longer backwards compatible. So you're probably getting an error regarding some bool object has no attribute all. And that's probably why you are watching this. So in order to fix that, and also I want to shout out one of my followers, Robert, who actually pointed this out to me and we, we went and debugged it together and found it. And hopefully this will save you guys a bunch of time so people aren't banging their heads on it. So pretty much it's the same code we had in the previous tutorial, but instead what we want to do is we want to import this TLS library. So this TLS is available with the latest version of MicroPython. So make sure you have the latest version of MicroPython. And then right here, we just want to create this context object. So we're using the TLS library and we're creating an SSL context and then we're adding a cert of none. And then for the client, all, all we are doing is we are just passing in the context to that SSL parameter. So in the previous video, what we had was we were actually passing in a Boolean, which is no longer supported. And they also deprecated the SSL params, which they no longer support as well. So instead we have to pass in this context object and it should work exactly as I showed in the previous video. So very simple fix, took a little bit of time and I just thought I would show everyone. And just to show you that it works, we can go ahead and run the script. So give it a moment to connect and it should start publishing to HiveMQ. Hope you got that bug fix super quick. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.